Hi, I'm Kayla Towner from UVN. Have you ever started a research project where you weren't quite sure where to send your students to do the researching, and you also wanted them to annotate or have accessibility tools to help support them? Well, if you go to Utah's online school library and go into Gale Reference Collection, you can use those accessibility tools right there and do some really great researching. So come join me. Here at UVN.org, we're gonna check out Utah's online school library. So I'm gonna scroll down to the very bottom, click on online school library, and once you click on it, you can now see onlinelibrary.uvn.org is another way you can get there. So right away, it logged me in. If it doesn't for you, then you need to use your username and password or the home access password is located here for students or families that are not at school. In addition, it's down below. So as you can see down below, there are support materials here. You can contact us. In addition, support materials up here. Now you can see Utah's online school library has broken up into elementary, middle school, and high school for easier exploring and navigating. So we're gonna check out high school. So here in the high school, it's broken up into the reference collection, Utah resources, and general resources. So at the top, I am looking for Gale reference collection for high school, and it's located right here. You may see some other resource databases, but this is the one we're gonna focus in on. So I'm gonna click on that one. And then you can see that there are different areas of research. Now, if I want to research all of them at once, I can click on Power Search. But if there's something more specific, say science related, I can go into Gale and contact science. But I'm gonna click on Power Search. So right away, everything is highlighted up here. Now, if you see something located here, but not in the other page, it is because it's no longer in use, which I do apologize about. But I'm gonna search up Mars. And right away, you can see you're showing results. You have your magazine results, academic journals, books, news, images, videos, and audio. If you would like, you can filter results. So if it's something you want more up to date, you can change that publication date or a different Luxile. So I might search the date. I might do a custom range from October 1st to October 27th and click apply. Now you can see I have less articles, but something more up to date to now. So let's see here, let's do uh, Mars, let's do this one. So as I click on it, it will bring me into the article. I can see the author, the date that it was publicized, publisher, and then the document, um, article, length, and lux style. As you can see, it's brief. So if I look here, the, Gale has really amazing accessibility tools. So if I need to change the language, I can change it here. I can decrease the font, I can increase the font, as you can see. I can change the display options, so for you or your students, if it's easier to read, you can change the background color. I can change the font type, and I can even change, if I go back up to this one, I can change the line spacing, the letter spacing, and even the word spacing for easier read. But for me, the default is the easiest. I actually like this more. Done. So as you read throughout, all you have to do if you want to highlight is just uh, use your cursor, go over it like that and pick a color. Now I like to pick a consistent color for me and my students so everyone's on the same page. So I'm going to pick orange and then maybe I say this is a significant person. So I'm just going to write Omar and Cedric and click save. And since this is a really short article, I'm just going to highlight something else. Um, maybe this is a really great quote. Maybe quotes for me are in yellow. So I'm just gonna write quote. Now when you get to the end of the article, you can have a source citation. So it can be an MLA, APA, Chicago, or Harvard. You can export that to any of these places below. We no longer do have Noodle tools, but Google Drive and OneDrive are really great options. Now if you want the citation along with your notes, if you go back up to the top, you can send it to your Google Drive, your OneDrive, um, even email, download, or print it. So I'm going to send it to my Google Drive and it will be there really shortly. So I click OK. And if I go back up here and you find the orange file and you just have to know where your research and I researched in Gale Power Search, I'm going to double click on that. I'm going to find my article located right here. And here I will see everything I saw in the article. So I can see the author, the date, even the lexile and length and I can see all my highlights. If I go to the very bottom of it, I can see the citation, 
plus the highlights and the notes I made with the highlights to help me write my paper in the future. So if I go back to the article, here it is. So this is a really great way of utilizing um, Gale Reference Collection for your students. So go check out Gale and see what you can do.